There's a saying that, you know, if you work on something long enough and you keep adding to it, you, you eventually will come out with something. So you, you don't ever like get so discouraged that, you know, you want to trash it, you want to throw it away. I mean, you work with what you got. You, you'll find a way to make something from it. I do require brushes that are very soft because I work with a I, I work kind of wet and which means that I use a lot of water in my work so I need brushes that are very very supple very easy to uh, to wash paint with um, as opposed to a, a, a thicker brush that you'd use for oils I work pretty much with the same colors all the time. I work with a teal, I work with, a, with an ochre yellow, I work with blue, red, um, greens, I mix colors. Sometimes if I want to create kind of a, almost like a, a, a more organic kind of painting where I have, I have sky and I have earth, you know, so the top of my paper is gonna be blues and whites and, and oranges, you know, to kind of mimic sun and sunlight and light and the bottoms are going to be more you know greens and blacks and, and browns um, and that, I mean that it works for me you know it's and so but it doesn't always end up that way if I'm working on a you know more realistic piece um, then you know all you're doing is you're taking you're trying to recreate the image as close as you can from from the photograph or from whatever you're working on I grew up with three brothers. Um, we all enjoyed drawing, painting. Uh, we had a studio when we were child. You know, children. My dad built a studio for us so that we could do our artwork. So a lot of times, instead of uh, playing outside, we were in the studio. So it was really a, something natural for me to do. Something we all had desires to do. Um, and again, speaking for myself, uh, it was just, for me, it was fun to, to paint, fun to draw, fun to, to, uh, to do artwork. Um, but I mean, I also had other interests. I mean, it wasn't all art. I mean, I, I, I'm a musician. I learned to play guitar at a very young age. I played in bands and, uh, I've traveled you know, a lot with, with, the guitar so I was able to to play in front of big audiences but um, I mean I had a natural childhood I mean I grew grew up liking sports as well played sports in high school um, but it has always been you know kind of the idea of, of working with uh, art that has really kind of been my number one love and so to this day, this is what I do. This is where I feel more comfortable. It's, it's very normal for me. Uh, it's There's no better place for me to be than to be in this studio painting. Well, if I've got a project already in mind, I'm going to be working. Um, the, you know, the, having this studio at home um, it allows you to work almost anytime you feel like it, anytime, you know, you you feel like you got to get in there. If I'm excited, I got something I'm working on, uh, you know, I'll usually I'll get up straight away and, and um, get in the studio as early as I can get in. I mean, I'll, I'm probably in here by eight o'clock. Some pieces can take months to, to do. And so, you know, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like if you're working you know, at a job somewhere, you know, you, you have to prioritize your day. And so you're, you know, it can be, you know, spend half the day working on it. Um, you, you know, take, take a break, get back to it. A lot of times you, you have to walk away from it. You can't stay with it all the time. You, you do get tired. 
especially if you're working in a large piece. So you have to sometimes walk away and go outside. But I'll work, you know, eight hours, sometimes 14 hours on a, on a piece. And I've even walk, uh, worked overnight. I'll come in here in the middle of the night if I, if I feel like I need to get in here. I've got, you know, this, if I have a deadline or if I just have a, a, a desire to go in there and, and continue working. So sometimes you're so excited about the work that you, you know, you never leave it. it you know, you, you sleep thinking about it. You, you can't wait to wake up so that you can start working on it again. Now I have, um, I have an exhibit in, at the uh, Centro de Artes, Texas A&M's San Antonio Centro de Artes, downtown at the Mercado. Um, I'm showing with another artist, um, Carolina Flores. The, the name of the exhibit is it's called uh, Nuestra Gente. And so it's a concept I had a long time ago that I, that I approached another artist with to, to see if they were interested in doing it. But basically what it is, is it is a sh uh, an exhibit of art, of portrait art for me. It's portrait art of the people of San Antonio. So it, it what I did was I, you know, went downtown just to see the people that live there, work there, tra travel through, um, people riding the bus, people going to work. I mean, I just, I felt like they needed to be, they needed to, to have a, a, a portrait done of them so they can be placed somewhere because to me they're very significant. And we're at Texas A&M San Antonio Centro de Artes. Um, this is the Nuestra Gente exhibit and Kind of going through a, a explanation of the work, you know, the reason, what was the concept for the exhibit, why uh, I decided to do portrait work, and uh, what inspired me to do this. This, these two pieces here, uh, they're one and the same. One, uh, I, this is a, a portrait of a woman, woman waiting for a bus, and um, I, I started off doing the smaller piece here. Um, she was someone who I saw as I walked by, I actually stopped as I was walking by her, kind of walked a little ahead of, ahead of her. I passed her up and then I, it just, I just stopped in my tracks and I, back, I kind of walked backwards and I asked her, you know, first thing I asked her, is I asked her if I could take her photo and she said no. But I told her that she was, you know, she had a very interesting face and very a beautiful face. She finally kind of warmed up to me and she allowed me to, to, to take her photo. Um, so I, I started off with a smaller painting. Um, just again, captured the, her, the way she wore her, the bandana. Um, it just reminded me of San Antonio maybe around the turn of the century um, where there was a lot of discrimination, there was a lot of segregation. Um, so I, I thought that I, needed, I needed to really do this in a big painting because to me I think she kind of showed all the, the suffering that happened in the 50s and 60s when I grew up uh, with the civil rights and um, so I turned out this big portrait of her. This grouping here of people, I, it's called Afternoon Conversation and they were, um, I took a photograph of these people and I painted it because I, I just liked the way these, this these five people were conversing and having a conversation while waiting for a bus. They, they had refreshments, they had like peanuts and they were drinking sodas and they were just talking and it looked like they were having a great time. Um, so they were at a, at a, right here at the corner of uh, Commerce uh, and Soledad Street and um, this gentleman was in a wheelchair but they they just kind of looked like they really respected each other and admired each other, were friends. And it just, again, I'm just having this, this idea of having a conversation. And this, is, this lady right here was really the kind of the focal point. It, you know, she, if you, if you look, I kind of painted them with an aura around them. They, you know, they all kind of show light, um, kind, of, kind of emits 
it seemed, you know, emitted from their, from their head and their torso. And, and it kind of just, something angelic or, you know, was kind of what I thought. The lady was very, had a very sweet face. Um, and she's, she's a little bit brighter than the others. She's actually has like almost light kind of right on her. I don't know. She just reminded me of maybe a family member, you know, one of my aunts or something. So this, this painting here, this larger painting, is a, a portrait of my father. Um, his name was Jorge Garza, and he was the guy that did everything for me. I mean, he was the one, he was my inspiration, he was my role model, he was my mentor, he was my inspiration. He, he only went through the third grade. He, he immigrated from uh, Mexico um, when he was uh, 11 years old. Um, although he was, he was born here, he, his parents were, my grandparents were here working and then went back to Mexico. My, my dad just happened to be born in San Antonio, but he grew up in Monterey, Mexico. He came as a young boy to, to, to work because his father had died, so he had to send money back to, to my grandmother. So he, he's someone that with hardly any education, you know, was able to raise four sons, put us, you know, put us through school, um, and then let us do what we wanted to do. He let us become artists or let us become musicians or just he told us that whatever we, whatever our dream was to do it. He cared about who, who we were, he cared about us and you need that in life. You need somebody to, that will care for you. So my name is Mario Garza and I'm a visual artist living in San Antonio, Texas. <laughs>